Hi guys and welcome back, welcome back you guys. Buenos dias, buenos dias, Feliz Feliz Martes. Good morning, happy Tuesday to all of you guys out there. Today you guys, this topic was weighing heavy on my heart because I have been seeing a lot of uh, young men out there suffering. And you guys are aware that I have an 18 year old son. So this 18 year old son is about to, and is entering into his adult phase in life. So when I am given this advice today, you guys just know I'm not some woman who is out of touch or doesn't know because I'm not a young man. I'm telling you that to let you know that I am very much in touch. I have an 18 year old son and also I have two bonus sons. I call them my bonus sons um, through marriage and they are 21. So I'm literally in the house with three young men. And so this is why this topic just touched my heart so much and I started delving deeper and doing more research into what is going on and so today I want to give you guys my viewpoint on what I think is going on with these young men out here who are struggling struggling in life struggling in relationships um, you guys do your Google research but I'm not sure if you're aware of this but there has been an increased rate of people taking themselves out. Right? You guys following me? I can't say the word. But there has been an increased rate of young men in particularly who are taking themselves out of this reality who are removing themselves, deleting themselves. And I just want to make the connection for you guys. So this video is for ladies, young ladies who are in the dating realm of these young men who are possibly could be in contact with these young men struggling. I want to give you guys a perspective of what they are going through. And so hopefully you will be able to better deal with them because you will be cognizant and aware of what is going on with them. I also want to make this video for the moms out there who have young men like myself in their lives so that you are aware of what's going on out here so that you can better, um, I guess, help relate to your son or a nephew or anybody in your life because you'll know what, what is going on out here and what they're struggling with. And more particularly, I wanna talk to those young men. And I want to get this message out there to these young men. And of course, as usual, I will have a silver lining at the end. Okay, you guys. Apparently, there has been an increase, like a crazy increased rate. I don't know the actual numbers. Like I said, do your Googles. About these young men deleting themselves. And I have talked before on this channel and given my advice to these young men, especially when they are looking to date. And I have tried to explain in the most articulate, concise way I can to these young men out here struggling to date, find relationships, get in relationships, find marriage. And I have warned you guys on numerous videos 
times have changed. This woman from the 1950s that you are looking for, this woman who is going to submit to you and be at your beck and call, who's gonna let you be her leader, king of the castle, she is gone. She is gone. But apparently, the men have not evolved. This is a problem, you guys. And I'm not saying it's a problem like, you know, all oh, these men, they need these young men, they need to get with the program. They kind of do, but I'm, I need you guys to understand what they are going through. This is a huge shift, you guys. What is going on right now with these young men? And this is why I feel like a lot of it has to do with why they are deleting themselves. It's because they can't keep up with what is going on. And so, although this woman has evolved, she's not willing to stay at home for you anymore. She's not willing to just stay at home and be happy having your kids and cleaning the house and catering to her man, her king. She's gone, you guys. But what does that mean? The young men have not adapted. The young men have not been parented by fathers to teach them about this new modern woman. So these young men, oftentimes they don't even have fathers in the house. But if they do have fathers in the house or uncles that they look up to, this, this man is still teaching them plays from the old playbook. This man is still teaching them Things from the old playbook of, yeah, you want to get you a woman, you know. Listen to some of these guys out here, you guys. Listen to, do, do like I do. I'm not just assuming. I literally do the research, you guys. And I'm like, what are these men teaching and telling these young guys? And what I have been seeing repeatedly, you guys, over and over and over again. I have been seeing these men teaching these young guys. You know, all oh, these ladies, they just out here thoughts. Oh, 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 they are. If they not thoughts, then, um, you know, they are woman of the streets. Or, you know, uh, these ladies, oh, it's all this independent woman out here today. You know, and she don't want to submit to her man. And they're putting all of this negative energy into these young men. And so what happens, you guys, these young men then go out seeking to date. But what they're finding is what I told you guys already, which is... Oh, I might be too close to this guy. Oh, can you get in? I might have parked too close to him. I'm so sorry. He's an older man, too. He's making it happen, though. I was going to back out and let him get in there. I'm sorry. Um. So what these young men are finding is then they go out into the dating realm after this dad after this uncle has advised them you need to look for a woman who gonna submit you need to look for a woman who um is in her feminine energy basically submit you need to look for a woman who's gonna let you lead and you going you need to look this is what these older men are advising them I mean, just horrific advice. And then what happens is this young man goes out into the dating world and he's like, oh, that woman doesn't exist. She doesn't exist. So now you guys, you got these, all of these young men. See, this one touched his hand. I'm trying not to get emotional. So then you guys, you have all of these young men out there and after attempt after attempt after attempt of going out there in search of 
this 1950s woman that these men are advising them that they need to look for. The, you know, marriage material woman who wants to stay at home and be at your beck and call and just have kids and let you lead her. These young men are realizing when they go out there in the dating field, this woman doesn't exist. So this man gives this younger man the advice of look for the, the 1950s lady look for the lady who want to just stay home look for the lady who 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 knows and, and respects the fact that you're gonna be the leader and giving them all of this piss poor advice you guys only for this young man to go out there in the dating realm and real and he realizes this woman doesn't exist Because this older man, this father, this father figure, this uncle, this granddad hasn't told this young man because he himself, the older man who's giving this advice, he is unaware that the woman has changed. She has evolved. So can you guys see how he sent that young man out there basically for a setup? And so then when this young man continues to go out there, put his you know best foot forward, doing all the things that this dad told him to do, he keeps running right into a wall because the woman in his age range and generation is the modern day woman. She not about to sit home for you. She not about to lead you. Oftentimes this modern day woman is going to make more money than the, the, the man. You guys know that ladies are graduating more than men. I think it's like twice the rate of men. So these young men are going out here, you guys, and they are getting rejected, rejected, rejected because they are trying to go off of this old playbook that their dad or uncle or granddad told them, not realizing the modern day woman is an evolved woman. That this is all, that you guys. This is this is a, a, a huge shift. There's, this is a totally different way to approach women. It is it is dangerous, you guys, to give these young men this advice. Young men, do your research. If you have an older parent, an older grandparent, uncle, dad, granddad, giving you this advice, telling you that you need to look for this lady who likes to stay at home, be submissive, have your kids, um, answer to everything you say, you the one who make all the rules and decisions in the household, I'm going to ask you, young man, to please do your research for this modern woman because this is the woman that you're likely to be dating. You guys, this is a totally different way of dating. You guys gotta remember the old playbook, a man goes out there with his kind of like patriarchal, you know, mindset of, you know, I, I run things. You know, I make the decisions. Oh, you do what I tell you to do. You know, I'm entitled to sex. You know, and then if the, the young lady doesn't want to have sex with him, then, you know, he kind of has this attitude like, wait, what? I'm the man. Hear me roar type of thing. Not realizing that these women of today are not having it. This woman of today has her own job, has her own money. She doesn't need to submit to you. As a matter of fact, she won't. So when you have these, this older generation of men advising this, these young men, to me, absolutely wrongly advising them. 
what happens then is that young man you guys goes out and he now he's not prepared he's not prepared and so he's going off of that old playbook that his dad told him to do trying to approach this modern day woman and it's a clash every time so then after these guys continue to get rejection after rejection after rejection you guys they are now feeling hopeless and this hopelessness leads to loneliness leads to them starting to isolate themselves and forming groups like these incel groups involuntarily celibate you guys these young these men are dangerous these incel groups uh men going their own way red pill i told you guys this on a previous video these men can be extremely dangerous because they are not prepared you guys they're not prepared for this modern day woman They go out here seeking to date, but they really don't have anything to offer this woman. And then when they continue to get rejected, they can go in a variety of ways. They can go into a state of loneliness. They don't want to date anymore. They don't even want to approach women. You guys, I cannot tell you how many times I've heard these young men say, I don't even want to shoot my shot. No. No, these women out here, they, they a mess. You know, they so independent. I don't even want to approach because they are afraid of getting rejected. And then these young men turn to these groups, you guys, where they have, and they have found other men who have been rejected just like them. And then they form community with these other rejected men, with these other negatively vibrating men, lonely men. This is dangerous, you guys, because then this lonely man who just then, I guess, resorts to just like going to his room if he lives with his parents or, you know, everything he does, you know, is online. Um, if he's a, you know, a, a fully adult man, you know, living on his own, you know, he kind of reminds me of that what we used to call back in the day like that creepy dude who just always on the computer does everything online like hardly ever goes out and interact with other people and and real humans this is dangerous you guys the woman has evolved you guys but the man has not and I know to some of you young ladies, you may be thinking, you know, um, these 20 year olds, you may be thinking, that's not my problem. I'm doing me. I want you to reconsider that. I believe you should do you. And no, there is no turning back. We're not going back. I want you guys to be cognizant though of the fact that these men, these young men have not evolved. So what I want to ask of you young ladies is be careful how you decline a request or decline an offer. Be nice is what I'm asking. You have a young man approach you 
and you know you're not interested, one, do not play games with these men. Do not, ladies, this is dangerous. Do not play games with these men. Oh, you know, let me see if I can get him to pay for my Louis Vuitton purse. Let me see if I can get him to take me out to expensive restaurants. But you know you're not interested? Let me see if I can get him to buy me some clothes. Get me to buy some, uh, get him to buy me some new tennis shoes. And you know you're not interested? When he realizes that you're really not interested in him and that you were just trying to use him, young lady, let me tell you, you have put yourself in a very dangerous position. Listen to Aunt T. Bird. If these young men approach you today, one, understand, this young man has not most have not evolved yet. He he really is not on your level yet. Meaning, I'm not saying that in a derogatory way, you guys. I'm just simply saying this young man has been given an old playbook by his dad, his uncle, his granddad that says he's supposed to be in charge. He's supposed to be the leader. So just be aware of that. Be cognizant of the fact that 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 a lot of these young men have not evolved yet to match you. Just be aware that they are probably going off of the old playbook of they need to be the leader and you need to submit to them. We're not submitting to them, but just be aware of this, you guys, so that if they approach you and you find yourself in a position where a young man approaches you, be very direct do not lead him on if you are not interested in him. Do not play games with these men. If you're not interested in them, say you're not interested. But don't be that nasty way. Boy, please. No, none of that. Get out of here. Uh, No. Do you see me? Don't do that, you guys. Don't do that. A lot of these men have been having a lot of rejection and they are angry. Don't believe me? Look up these groups that I'm telling you guys about. In sales, uh, the red pill community, the MGTOW community. Look up these men. And then a lot of these men follow up behind uh, other men like Andrew Tate. If you guys have never heard of Andrew Tate, look him up. I'll do a whole separate video on Andrew Tate. And they follow up behind Andrew Tate, who basically feels like it is his right to use women and take advantage of women. Be a pimp, to be a hustler. Literally, you guys, this is what he sells. And a lot of his audience are these like incel, uh, MGTOW, red pill guys look at the things that he is teaching them to do it is very dangerous you guys so when these guys approach you and you know you're not interested be very direct be nice be positive and just say oh no no thank you no thank you oh no 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 thank you oh thank you you know if they compliment me on something or you know if a man compliments me on something oh th thank you and then i keep it moving don't lead these guys on do not play games with these guys but i want you guys to be aware of what they are going through they have not evolved this is a totally different and new way of dating, you guys. Approaching a woman of today, it's a whole different approach. You can't come to this modern day woman today talking about, uh, yeah, are you going to submit to me? She, she will look at you like you are an alien. You can't come to this modern day woman today, young man, talking about, uh, yeah, you know, because my father and my dad, you know, and my grandma and my grandpapa, and she did what he told her to do, and she stayed at home, and he gave her an allowance. 
and he made all the decisions in the household. Don't, young man, please do not approach a, a modern day woman with that. She is going to be repulsed. Hey guys, I just got back out of the gym, which is one of the points that I wanna make to these young men. The first thing I want to tell these young men who are considering or possibly have already joined some of these communities and groups like Incel, uh, Red Pill, MGTOW, you don't want to join these type of groups and surround yourself with this type of mentality where in and within this group there are nothing but men basically bashing women complaining about the woman of today the modern lady is trash you know because you're going to continue to put this type of negative thoughts in your mind which in turn when you go out in the world you're going to attract that type of woman you're going to continue to attract that woman that you just spent two and three hours online talking to this uh, incel community about. You're going to attract it. Because if you believe a thing, if you believe that all women are trash, this modern day woman is trash, this independent woman of today is trash because she keeps rejecting you, what you give your attention to is what you're going to attract guaranteed so before you even think about joining one of these communities and you're thinking oh but these are like-minded people these are my homies these are people or other men who feel my pain there are also other men who are going to keep reiterating those negative vibrations that this modern day woman is no good. And I personally feel like these guys who are part of this community, this is just my opinion, you guys. These men who are, young men, older men, who are part of these red pill communities, MGTOW communities, incel communities and groups. I personally think these men really do want women it's just that they have been rejected over and over and over again that now they just cannot endure any more rejection. So they then go to this mindset of, I don't want women. I'm going my own way. Men, uh, women are trash. I think they really do want to love somebody. I think they really do want to find that special person and so because that's what i believe down deep that these guys just really want to be loved this is my advice to moms out there if you have found yourself around or if you have a son or nephew or just a, a young um, man who's in your life and if you can advise them ladies if this is your brother if this is your um, cousin give them a hug give them a hug men Give your son a hug. Give them a hug. Let them know that they are needed. Because as I mentioned before, you guys, times have changed. So basically everything that this young man oftentimes was taught while he was growing up is that you have to get out there and earn. You have to get out there and be a provider. You have to be a producer. You have to be a protector. And so he's kind of been groomed to be this way. And yet he's now in this society where that's not what women need anymore. So can you guys imagine 
it's like everything that he's been groomed and taught to do now he sees with this modern day woman is irrelevant this modern day woman doesn't need him to be her provider this modern day woman doesn't need him to be her leader this modern day woman don't need you to be the king of her castle so it's it's a it's a total shift you guys can you can you guys get your mind around that this is a total shift for these young men they were used to watching grandma they were probably used to seeing their own moms being in this submissive role if they were raised in a household with a man oftentimes they probably saw the man in a role of what we call the leader of the house can you guys also see how if you were raised in a house that was very religious and going off of the playbook of the Bible, the Bible also taught them, you need to be the leader, you the man, the woman is your helpmate, the woman is supposed to submit. This is in your Bible, you guys. So now this young man is out there as an adult in 2024 and the whole game has changed. It's 123. It's 123 degrees right now. All right. Can you guys see how just that in and of itself is just jarring? So the whole way that this young man's parents groomed him or taught him to be is absolutely irrelevant today. He's feeling like, okay, I have basically been to school for all these years. I, I'm doing exactly what my dad and my uncle and my granddad told me to do as far as dealing with women. And yet the, the woman of today doesn't want any. So a lot of these young men Are entering into society ill prepared and I'm not trying to be um, speak negatively of the advice that their parents gave them I'm just simply saying the parents were ill prepared they didn't know they didn't know that 18 years later we would be living in a society where more women than men are graduating university. That the tables have turned. And oftentimes the woman is going to and probably will be the breadwinner. You guys, this is huge. This is a big deal. This is a major shift and a major adjustment that a lot of these young men are not prepared for. I told you guys in a previous video, this modern day woman is not going back. Young men, this is just really sad to hear that the most dangerous thing for a, a man under 45 is himself. So let me give my advice to any young man out there listening to me, any young man out there who feels like times have changed on him or maybe he's been getting rejected, or maybe he's even considering any of these 
um, groups like Red Pill, Incel, MGTOW. Young man, listen to Auntie, okay? Listen to Aunt T-Bird when I tell you this is what you need to do. Do not focus on getting a woman, dating, how to get a woman, how to take advantage of a woman. This nonsense like this Andrew Tate is out here influencing you guys to do. Listen to T-Bird. Here's what you need to do, young man. Don't put your attention on getting a woman. I know, it sounds counterintuitive, but just hear me out. Instead, focus on going to the gym, get a routine, get a job. If you don't have a job, get a job. If you have a job where you're always like, say you're always a gamer, it's, it's a job, you get money from it, you're on YouTube, or say you're just a content creator and you're just like, oh, you're on YouTube all the time, but you're like always in the house, start implementing into your daily routine some type of physical exercise. You need the physical exercise to kind of release that tension and that stress also to like kind of release any kind of thoughts of angry thoughts that you may be having or thoughts of just you know frustration irritation you a good hard run I, I cannot tell you all of the benefits of exercise you will feel so good about yourself when you start implementing some type of exercise if it's going to the gym go to the gym lifting weights, punching a punching bag. I highly recommend something like that. Get yourself a punching bag so you can like exert all of that negativity and that anger and frustration. Like get it out. Scream. And when you exercise, you know, like I hear a lot of these guys when they're in the gym, they do some, ah, ah. Like it's something about, I know that sounds crazy. I'm sorry if I scared you guys. But like, so do some type of like, get it out uh, vocally too. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about looking like a fool for you guys. I, this is amazing advice that I'm giving you. Start incorporating some type of exercise routine. Every day. If you're not going to the gym walk around the neighborhood the reason why i say uh, get a gym membership is because one uh, a lot of times these gym memberships you guys can get a gym membership for like 9.99 still yeah you can still get gym memberships for like 9.99 you really doing it if you do a membership for 19.99 you can go to the gym you can take not only uh do your weight lifting run it on a treadmill you can even take yoga classes. These are all things that are going to exert that energy, that pent up energy that you have inside. But also you guys, when you go to the gym, and this is the reason why I love the gym so much, believe it or not, you guys, I did not used to be a gym rat. But the other thing that I have found that is so beneficial about the gym is that it gets you around other like-minded people meaning like-minded people who you know value their physique who are all about good health good health routines you're going to start meeting people don't go to the gym with the idea oh i can go there to pick up women no go there to the gym with the idea of this is part of my daily routine for mental clarity to release frustration, irritation, and anger. To join and be a part of a community. Because I promise you, once you start going to the gym over and over again, the same gym, they're going to start seeing you. People are just like, oh, okay, hey, John, how you doing? How you doing? 
number one advice for you young men. Do some type of physical exercise every single day. It's a must. It's going to get you out of the house. You're going to be working on your body. When you start building up a routine, you start getting some gains, you know, muscle gains, losing weight. You're going to feel so good about yourself. The second piece of advice that I want to give you young men. Start implementing some type of meditation. I'm not saying 30 minutes an hour. I'm just saying give yourself. If at first all you can do is five minutes of quiet time. Just start with five minutes. And then try to work up to at least minimum. 15 minutes every day. And I recommend at the start of your day. Getting quiet. Just getting quiet and getting in a receptive mode. Of just being mindful. Quiet. Receiving. If you've never meditated before, this is going to be a bit challenging. Which is why I said just start off with five minutes. Heck, start off with three minutes. Just get quiet. Until you can build up to a minimum of 15 minutes every single morning before you get out the bed or start your day or get out the house. 15 minutes of meditation. The third one, and these are in no particular order, you guys. The third one, bit of advice I have for you guys, you young men. Start implementing daily a routine of gratitude start your day off with what am i grateful for that i already have and i want it to be it could be big things or it could be simple things like i'm just happy that i woke up today i'm just happy that I'm breathing today. I'm happy that I have two legs to walk today. I'm thankful that I have a roof over my head today. I'm thankful for the sun. I'm thankful for a cup of coffee that I'm about to drink. I'm thankful for, 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 for clean water. Like, I want it to be as simple as that. Start off with stuff like that simple. But I want you guys to start off every morning with a routine and moments of gratitude. Every single day, start off with at least just three things you are thankful for it could be i'm thankful that i have a mom i'm thankful that i have a wife i'm thankful that i have a girlfriend i'm thankful that i just love me every day you guys i want you guys to start implementing a routine of gratitude I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I have this beautiful palm tree that I can look at. I'm grateful that I'm here. I really want you young men to start implementing these strategies that I'm telling you guys about because The more positive you are, the more you love you, the more you just love your own company, the more you just show gratitude for all things, even the things that you may consider 
bad, like a young lady rejected you. Say to yourself, I'm grateful because that taught me something. Maybe it taught you that you need to become better at rejection. Maybe it taught you that it's not time yet for a relationship. I want you to just start looking at everything out of a lens of this happened for a reason. There's no such thing as a coincidence. This happened for a reason. When you guys start showing this level of gratitude, patience, positivity, it's going to start oozing out of your pores that you love yourself, that you're positive. Walk around and just try to have a smile on your face. Just, just try to have a smile on your face. Walk around with an with a attitude of, everything always works out for me. This is just a season in my life right now. But more importantly, you guys, the best advice that T-Bird can give you guys, all of those things I just mentioned, physical exercise every day, meditation, moments of gratitude, list at least three things every single day that you're grateful for. But this one, young man, I really need you guys to understand. Understand that times have changed. Don't spend another minute in some group or community complaining about this modern day woman. You cannot change her. You will not change her. She's not going back. So don't, comp don't even complain about it. Just work on you. Just work on you. You guys, I know tons of women. I know tons of young ladies. They'll, they'll, they'll say to a guy, you don't have to be a 10. I'm telling you, you guys, young men, listen to me. You do not have to be a 10 look wise. You do not have to have a six pack. You do not have to have six figures. I have seen plenty of women say, I don't know, it's just something about him. He just he just got that swag about him. He just When you have that level of confidence, I'm not talking about arrogance, you guys. I'm talking about when you just have that level of confidence about you. When you just have that level of confidence about you that you love you and that you are just a positive person and you just love life. When you approach a woman, it'll just ooze out of your pores. And when you do approach a woman, young man, and she's not interested, don't be mad. Don't be upset. She don't owe you that. When you do approach this modern day lady, approach her with positivity, a smile on your face, being cordial, nice be kind and if she does reject you just just simply say oh, okay well thank you so much thank you so much i just wanted to say you, you don't do this thing where she you approach her hey how you doing you know hey yeah you know can i get your number first of all get your game right learn how to approach a woman a young lady but if she does reject you don't go in your room and go in your mom's basement and go in a hole and soak for months. No. Just say, just, just look at it, you guys, like it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. Eventually, somebody is going to say, oh, hey, hey, hey. Especially if you're taking care of your body. Especially if you're taking care of your skin. Especially if you're glowing. 
You taking care of your teeth. You're polite. You're nice. You're positive. Guaranteed, eventually, some young lady is going to be attracted to you and want to spend time with you. It's guaranteed, you guys. I've told you guys this many a times on previous videos. You attract who you are. So can you imagine if you're this like sad, depressed, desperate, always feel isolated, lonely, you guys, I'm telling you, most women are not going to be attracted to that. And we can sniff a fake. But if you take my advice and just start taking care of your mental and your mindset and your physical have a job not because you need a job to take care of the lady no you have a job you guys having a job young man listen to me i don't care if you are working at mcdonald's i don't care if you are delivering packages for amazon having a routine and a job does so much for your mental state your mental health like I always tell people exercising it, it's like less than 10% of the weight the work as far as losing weight it's about your diet but I always tell people but exercise is extremely important for your mindset for your mental health and clarity Young man, listen to T-Bar when I tell you this. When you start exercising, releasing all of that pent-up energy, surrounding yourself with a community of men who are positive, who speak love, who are encouraging, not men who want to just uh, simply complain about uh, women and what women have done. No, start surrounding yourself with people who just love life. Who just have a zest for life. I am telling you, young man. You will not have a problem attracting women. I find that oftentimes a lot of these men that I've been seeing who are what they call incels or involuntarily celibate. MGTOW. Red pill. The first thing I usually notice right out the gate they are not men who take care of their body they're usually and oftentimes I'm not saying all but oftentimes they are overweight oftentimes they have not taken the time to implement a skin regime and so their skin does not look healthy Oftentimes they're unkempt. They look like they haven't taken care of their hair, their nails. It looks like they haven't been out in the sun. These just, when I see these men, you guys look back on, um, I made a video before about a year ago about MGTOW men. And you can see in the comment section. This is the reason why I leave the comments up. I know oftentimes people are like, why do you leave those comments up? You know, these people, you know, saying negatively, speaking negative, negatively to you. The reason is, one, I don't care. I have very thick skin. And I'm not even, I have a man. <laughs> you know, so I don't, it just doesn't phase me. But I leave those comments up for you ladies to see how dangerous some of these men are in their speak the comments that they leave are very very hateful negative I'm not even out here I'm not even in their uh, field as far as a, a lady that would be interested in them I'm just simply giving my advice and my opinion and you guys see, I am a very, very loving person. And I can always see both sides of a thing. But you guys, if you look at some of those videos or shorts where I'm talking about MGTOW men, these men are 
very, at least the ones who've left comments under those videos, talk about hateful, demonic, insulting. Ladies, be careful of these men. Here's my advice to the young ladies. And here's my advice to any aunts or moms grandmoms who are around these young men one be aware if that young man starts to isolate himself always in his room always in the basement not communing with other people encourage him to get out of that room just, to, just tell him to come talk to you go for a walk Let's have dinner together. The other thing, ladies, I want you to let these young men know. Is that they are loved. Give them a hug. This goes for moms and dads. They need a hug. You cannot solve this problem for them. You're definitely not going to change this modern day woman for them. But you can just show them love. Let them know they are loved. I personally don't think that these young men get enough hugs. I hug my son all the time. But, but my son actually, I, I implemented that since the day he was born. So he's just used to it now. He just sees me. I don't have to like force him to hug me. He just, he'll just give me a hug. And I'll just hug him. He's 18. I don't care. I'll hug him out in public. I'll hug him at home. I hug him everywhere. My bonus boys, Kevin and Edward, I'd like to try to hug them too. When I, they first came into my life, I was like, Gary, I want to hug them more. Gary, and I was like, Gary, I was asking Gary for advice. And Gary was like, Mom, just walk up to them and hug them. And I was like, because I think Gary too was like, yeah, a good hug. You guys, I know it sounds really, really simple. But we are humans. And we need to be touched. Ladies, even men out there, when you're dealing with your sons, nephews, give them a hug. Like a genuine, not the shoulder to shoulder, but a, like a full on hug. These men need this, you guys. The other thing I want to advise ladies when we are dealing with these young men of today. This goes for young, all of this advice goes for young men, men in their late teens, 20s, 30s, even 40s, like I said. The most dangerous thing for a 45-year-old man and younger is himself. They are taking themselves out of here, you guys. So, the last bit of advice that I have that I think is the most powerful. Because times have changed, because these young men or faced with a time and an era where they're like, well, if I'm no longer the protector, if I'm no longer the provider, if I'm no longer the leader, if I'm no longer needed to be the king of the castle, what do I have? Can you guys see how challenging this is for these young men? They are now faced with, wait a minute, then what, what do I have? What can I offer? And so, ladies, I want you to do this for these men and these young men. Listen to them, especially if they 
have taken the time and they start talking to you, listen to them and listen to what they are going through. Because oftentimes we were raised, oh, tough it up, son. You know, smoke up, Johnny. You know, be hard. But these young men are faced with something totally different, you guys. This is a huge shift that we are going through. And so, ladies, we need to help them. We have evolved. But now we need to help them. We need to listen to them, listen to what they are going through, give them hugs, let them know that they are loved. But most important, you guys, let them know that they are still needed we still need our men we just need you guys in a different way now we don't need you to be our leader we don't need you to be the breadwinner we need you to be our partners remind them Ladies, remind these young men they are still needed. Think about it. If the lady is the breadwinner now and if they start having kids, we like somebody to mainly be around the children. So maybe the roles are going to be reversed. And the men are going to start spending more time with the children and helping raise the children. Let these men know we still need you. We still need your emotional support. There's nothing like coming home from a long day at work and you can call your boyfriend or you can call your husband or you can come home to your husband your significant other and be able to talk about what happened in your day that day and having that emotional support of your significant other you guys that is priceless these young men need to know they are still needed it's just in different ways no we don't need you to pay our bills no, we don't need you to be our leader. We don't need you to be our producer. But let's make the new need is we need you to be our partners. We need you to be our partners. We need you to now support us like back in the day the women supported the men. Can you guys see though? Especially, again, if you were raised to be a very religious person and, and, and going off of the Bible and believing that every word in that Bible is facts. Can you guys see how hard this would be for a young person? Do you guys not see how hard this, this change could be for a young man? Wait, they don't need me to be the provider, producer, protector? No. But we still need you. Ladies, you can help these men evolve or elevate. Because we need them to match our energy. We, we don't need them to continue to come to us with this old playbook of no I'm the man hear me roar I'm the provider I'm the protector I'm the leader sit down you do what I tell you I make all the decisions in this house you know you better run everything past me don't you dare make a, a decision without me you guys that time is so gone this is why I was telling you guys 
in the previous video about these relationship coaches that are men. They, they are advising you piss poor. The woman of today is not going back to that submissive nature. She's not. The woman of today is not about to quit her job. She making good money, able to provide for herself, got money in the bank. And she gonna quit her job and you making, I don't know, half the amount that she make? What? She's gonna quit her job and just to bow down and submit to you and be your helpmate? She's not doing that, you guys. Ladies, we have to help these young men. They are feeling isolated. They are lost. They are literally like out here in, in the jungle. Like what the heck is happening? They haven't evolved. And they're starting to join groups like Incel. And MGTOW and red pill and these men are doing nothing but encouraging them to be reckless to be mean spirited and quite frankly to be dangerous to these women ladies when these young men approach you be kind if you are not interested. Be kind when you let them down. Just have a smile on your face and just say, no, thank you. Or I'm taken. I already have a boyfriend. Oh, but thank you. And just keep it moving. Young ladies, when these men approach you and you know that you're not interested, don't play games with these men. I am telling you, a lot of these men in these groups are dangerous to women. They have not adapted to the times. They feel like the rejection is absolutely just appalling. They have been raised in a patriarchal system where they feel like they're the man. They should have male privilege. And you go to rejecting them in a crazy, non-kind, malicious way, this can be very dangerous for you. And as I mentioned before, for God's sake, don't play with these men trying to see if you can use them, take advantage of them, see if you can get them to buy you, you a purse, don't do it. These men are dangerous. And you don't know it. You don't know which one you're going to get. So don't play these games with these men. You're not interested, just simply say, I'm not interested, thank you so much. Thank you. No, thank you. And keep moving. If you have a brother, a young man in your life, if you're a mom, grandma, please start showing these young men love, you guys. They are lost. They don't know. They don't have enough people like T-Bird that they're listening to who's telling them, you are loved. You are needed. They feel like, what's the point of it all? What's the point of it all? This is the other last advice that I'm going to give these young men. I see a lot of um, young men out here making uh, content on YouTube. And I don't know if they're like making these videos to just get more clicks and views. You 
you know, saying things like, you know, I'm depressed or, you know, women ain't nothing. These women of today are crap. Um, this modern day woman ain't for nothing but the streets. Like they're making like a lot of videos like this. Um, and they're young men themselves. I'm going to ask you guys if you're making videos like this. And especially when you're looking at your analytics and you see that a lot of other young men watch you. Just for society's sake and for like the human kind, like just for the human race, do this for me. Think long and hard before you make those type of videos. Other young men are watching you. And what you're doing is you're basically encouraging that same way of thinking of woe is me, I'm sad, everybody's against me, I can't get a woman, all women are trash. Like, think about the message that you are putting out there. It's not funny. These young men are struggling. And a lot of these young men are looking at you guys' content and they're like, oh yeah, see, life is horrible. Life is bad. Well, all women are trash. And a lot of these young men, you guys, are looking at your content and they're going into deep states of depression. I told you guys, they are taking themselves out of here. So it's it's not a joke. Like I said, do do your research on these incels. These people are depressed. They feel isolated. They feel rejected by society. Just especially if you're one of these content creators who say that you are woke. Think about the message that you're putting out there. If you're putting out these messages of, woe is me, life is so hard, everybody's against me, all women are trash, all women are for the streets. If you're a man and you're putting out content like that, these other young men are watching you. And you, they're already feeling hopeless. So you're just perpetuating those thoughts of loneliness. I'm not here to tell you guys how to make your money or anything like that. But I do wish that we could give more content creators spreading love spreading messages of love if you're a young man and you're making content start making content about hey get out there and, and get to exercising how many uh what do they call it dumbbell lifts did you do i don't know the name of this this workout training stuff Encourage these guys to, to to look into their diet. What your diet looking like, man? What you looking like? You eating McDonald's every day? Nah, come on, dude. Let's do this. I love watching these content creators of these men. And they, they, you know, their content is all about working out. You know, showing their gains. Why? Because I know that the more men who are watching that type of content, the minute you start working out, you're going to start feeling better about yourself. The minute you just start going out and being around other humans, you're going to start seeing, no, everybody's not bad. 
most most humans are pretty nice. They're, they are, they are pretty. They might not be over the top friendly, but most humans are pretty nice. They just out here doing their thing. When you get out and about and stop just looking at what's going on online, you will see that most humans, we're just out here doing our thing, living life. Hi, how are you? Men, instead of encouraging and giving this advice to these young men. Yeah, see all the women, they just thought. They just thought, young man. You know, they for the street. You know, this modern day woman. You know, she 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 need to listen to what her grandma. I'm telling you, guys, stop giving them that advice. Because you basically are out here setting them up. You are setting them up for failure. Instead, what you should be doing is telling that young man, times have changed. Times have changed. These women today don't need you to be their provider, protector, producer. These women today are likely looking for a partner are likely looking for someone who they can depend on, are likely looking for somebody who they can support and who will support them back. This young man today, you guys, has got to figure out his place. Young ladies, be patient. Women, mothers, aunts, be patient. They got to figure it out. The same way that ladies were like, oh, no. <laughs> no, sir. I'm not about to keep uh, letting some man control all of my finances and telling me what to do and be the leader of my household. And, and I got to follow up behind him and get his permission and ask for an allowance. These women are not doing that anymore, you guys. It's a new day and time, young man. Do some research. Instead of looking out and just trying to find other groups of people complaining about women, do your research on the modern day woman. I personally feel like this is a good thing for you guys because now you guys you young men you don't have to feel all of the pressure of having to take care of a whole entire household being the only income earner in the household do you guys not know how stressful that was for most men you guys don't have the burden of that anymore I think that is absolutely beautiful for you guys. You don't have to carry that cross. You don't have to carry the burden of being the sole provider. You don't have to carry that burden of being the sole protector, producer. That is absolute. You guys not see the silver lining in that young man. That is absolutely beautiful. That most of these women are absolutely okay with just being your equal. They just want to be your partner. Don't try to look for a woman to tell what to do and to control. Look for a partner. Don't try to look for a woman that you can tell her what type of clothes she can wear. What kind of outfit she can wear off the house. She is going to drop you like a hot potato. Instead, look for a woman who wants to just be your partner. They are out there, you guys. 
but before looking for her even learn to love yourself start using that time and all of that energy that you are putting into these groups man groups MGTOW NCEL Red Pill start using that time and energy to start loving yourself take a yoga class I know I know you all are like Tracy that's not for men oh yes it is I have been seeing more and more men in my yoga classes. Maybe they just got the game and they like, it's a lot of women in here. <laughs> Take a yoga class. Start meditating. Think of three things every single day that you are grateful for. Every day. Set your intentions every day before you get started. Say, okay, I got goals. I got stuff to do. Okay, today I'm on uh, work and I got to go to work between blah and blah hours. Okay, before I go to work, I'm going to try to get 30 minutes in at the gym. Get some lifts, get some lifts. Start tracking your weight. Start tracking your gains. You guys, this does so much for your mental health. Start paying attention to the food that you're putting in your body. You guys do your Google research. This highly processed food, you guys, have been linked to so many different health issues. Like autism. Like cancer. Anxiety, depression. The food. The food. You guys, please start becoming more cognizant, young man, of the food that you are putting in your mouth. If you are sitting up eating McDonald's every day, all day, you are eating poison. Start incorporating drinking more water. Get that pent up energy out of your system. I like to do a, when I'm yoga, um... Oh, it's something about the vibration, you guys. See, it just did it to my ears. Rum. Every time I do that, Gary just cracks. <laughs> Start exercising, you guys. If you have a job where it's online and you're always in the house, get out the house. Every day try to get out of the house even if it's just going up to Starbucks just go sit up at Starbucks for about 30 minutes or an hour you got some research to do just take your laptop up to uh, Starbucks I don't know I'm just saying Starbucks because that's where I go you guys but whatever place just get out get some sun get around other humans humans are social people we were not meant to be sitting in the dark alone we are social people you guys form a community at the gym you don't even have to form it i'm telling you just go to the gym on a regular basis at the same time or at different times you're going to start seeing the same people next thing you know you'll have a guy come up to you hey man can you spot me Guys, start showing other guys love. Don't show them hate. Don't show them hate for women. Show them love. Speak words of positivity. Speak words of it will all work out. More importantly, young man, get your mind around the fact that this modern day woman, young lady is not going back. But we still need you. Young ladies, let these men know you still need them. They are still needed.
they have found out you guys that even older men oftentimes we've been taught that oh yeah you know uh though that that woman needed that man he was the provider you know he, he paid all the bills you know what they're finding you guys that even older men when they go through divorce they are the most vulnerable more so than the lady if a couple divorces the man is more vulnerable and more susceptible to deleting himself way more than the woman because these men didn't realize how much they depended on that woman for emotional support they just thought oh okay you know I'm going out here I'm making all the money I'm providing but they have found you guys look up look up the study they have found that when this man who has been married to this woman when he goes through a divorce he is basically more traumatized than the woman because he hasn't realized just how much he had been depending on that woman for emotional support, physical support, you know, intimacy. To be there as his helpmate. So when he doesn't have a woman, he just kind of falls to the wayside. Which says to me something that I have always known. And I've always tried to tell men. You need me just as much as I need you. Oftentimes these men will try to uh, convince these uh, ladies. Oh, I'm the breadwinner. I'm the only one with a job. I'm, I'm, I'm the one providing for everybody. And he'll try to like mentally try to convince this lady that her role is um, subpar or not as valuable. Only to find out that when these same men who have been married for years get a divorce or become widows, um, they suffer big time, you guys. They suffer big time. So I'm going to end with this, you guys. young men get out and about get out here in nature get out here in the sun get around other humans implement some type of workout routine and make it a routine like look at it like you would a job like oh no 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 like me I'm like oh no I have to dance I have to work out. When I don't work out, I feel the difference. Start implementing some type of workout routine. Start implementing something that'll get that heart rate going. You know, really get it out. Boxing, running, a good, a, a quick sprint, high intensity workout. Start implementing some form of meditation, mindfulness, just getting quiet. Start off with five minutes a day. Try to work up to at least 15 minutes a day every single day. Start implementing some form of gratitude every single day. List three things that you are grateful for. And start implementing a mindset of positivity. A mindset of love. A mindset of, I just love life. I just love being here. I came here to live. Uh, young man, listen to Aunt T when I tell you this. Although times have changed, Although you have this modern day woman 
who is not going backwards. Listen to T-Bird when I tell you this. You are still needed. It's just another way. It's just going to be in another form. You are loved and you are still needed. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end on that one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.